Hello and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in Indian province. Ladies and gentlemen, on the afternoon of March 31st, the delegation of Vietnam Fatherland Run Committee of Hanoi City, led by Ms. Nguyen Thị Kim Dung, Vice Woman of the Committee, has an exchange appearance with the Vietnam Fatherland Run Committee of Tinan Province on promoting the bronze of intellectual, religions, dignitaries, and reputable people among ethnic minorities to build rich solidarities up on people, welcoming and working with the delegation that was Ms. Dung Nhật Quang, member of the Provincial Party Standing Committee, heads of the Provincial Party Committee's Mass Mobilization Department in charge of the Vietnam Fatherland Run Committee of Tinan Province. At the meeting, the leaders of Vietnam Fatherland Front Committees of Tinan Robbins said, Currently in the Robbins, there are 21 ethnic minorities and five main religions. Over the past years, celebrities, intellectual, religious dignitary, and religious people among ethnic minorities in the Robbins have promoted important role in all fields of the social life, contributing part of building and maintaining the great national unities and reserving and ensuring social order and security in the community. To the remote the role and influence of the team of reputable people who are truly typical assembly in the front rooms of all other front rooms in ethnic and religious minority areas. At the meeting, leaders of Vietnam Fatherland Front Committees of Hanoi City and Tinan Ravens agree on many opinions. Specifically, all level and ranges in political system need to continue to remove propaganda activities raise awareness of the position and role of reputable people and work to mobilize and remove the roles of reputable people to serve social economic development and ensure security and order in ethnic minority areas and religions. Regularly pay attention to and fully and wrongly implement regime and policies of reputable people, such as updating information, training and equipping knowledge, visit, meet, welcome and give gifts on major holidays of religious and ethnic organizations, material support and being sick, in the trouble or in the trouble, take care of building, take care of building and training of team of official at the restaurant level. Improving tourism transport infrastructure is proposed by Tinan as a solution to develop sustainable and highly effective tourism. According to the Tourism Working Group, under the Steering Committee for Implementing Regular Solutions for Social Economic Development of Tinan Province, a mechanism has been proposed to encourage and react conditions for businesses, investors to build, improve quality and develop tourism industries, review public land funds to call for investment, focus on attractive investment projects to build restaurants and at Baden Motion National Tourist Area, piloting the operation of bus and tram routes, connecting to the tourist areas, tourist attractions, and relics in the province in the form of city tour. According to the Ecotourism Resort Entertainment Project and the Logosamat National Park Buffer Zone Development Investment Project for the periods of 2023-2030, Logosamat National Park tried to achieve basic targets. For the periods of 2023-2025, it will reach the 18,000 visitors per year by 2025. Tourism revenue is estimated at 5,400 million Vietnamese dong. By 2025, the average spending per tourist is estimated to reach more than 300,000 Vietnamese dong per person per day. For the periods of 2026-2030, it tried to reach 40,000 visitors per year. Tourism revenue reaches 52,000 Vietnamese dong. By 2030, an average spending of a tourist is estimated to reach more than 1,300,000 Vietnamese dong per person per day. In addition, it will develop a buffer zone development project to revenge or reduce illegal encroachment into the national park, building economically effective agricultural and forestry farming model to contribute to stabilizing and improving the lives of the community, reducing the pressure to make a living from the forest, supporting the words of nature conversation, forest management, and protections of national park, and limiting impact on the forest. Continue the program with other information. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the decreasing number of wild animals in the wild, many species are at risk of extinction, while the demands for keeping them in captivity as pets or for food 
is increasing. So many pastures, many facilities, grazing grounds, and rare animals have been formed in Tainan Province. Currently, Tainan Forest Protection Department is managing 171 wild animal rising facilities, including 153 facilities rising in nature or rare forest animals. Mainly, livestock development establishments provide both breeding animals and commercial meat to a market with increasing demand. Most breeding facilities are registered with authorities. The Nen Forest Protection Department regularly guides and reminds households rising white animals and rare animals, fully implementing the law on breeding, management, and traceability of forest origins. Up to now, livestock farming activities have been in order. Most farms are economically efficient and always comply with the law. To help people rest the revision of law, to raise awareness in exploiting and rotating aquatic resources, to control, detect, and handle violations according to the government decrees in the field of fisheries, the NUN will organize inspection on the use of fishing gear throughout the area during the period from the quarter two to quarter four of 2024. Seven trips will be carried out days and night, checking the transportation, storage, and use of prohibited fishing gear, focusing on Yauting Lake and Vam Gorong River. Subjects of inspection include organization and individual transporting, storing, and using fishing gear to exploit aquatic products in a quarter body in the province. The Departments of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Medicines research over and coordinated with relevant agencies and units to organize the delegation to conduct direct inspection at the water bodies on Yauting Lake and Vagodam River. After a period of water cutting for repair and upgrading, up to now, German West Canal, belonging to Yau Ting Phu Hoa Irrigation System, has been basically completed on schedule. German West Canal has a length of nearly 39 kilometers. After completing repairs and upgrades, the Southern Irrigation Exploitation Limited Liability Company has opened the canal water. The water level of the main west canal reaches the design level in the level 1 canal reaches. And so water supply for irrigation in the winter spring crop of 2023-2024, ensuring compliance with the time directed by the People's Committee of Tenen Province. In addition to supplying water to irrigate 22,000 hectares of agricultural land in the province, the West Main Canal also supplies industrial water and domestic water supply to tenant water supply and sewerage choice stock company. At the meeting, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, head of the Provincial Steering Committee, Nguyen Than Tam, acknowledged and appreciated the results achieved in the work of preventing and combating corruption and negativity and the activities of the Provincial Steering Committee in recent times. Regarding the direction and tasks of the second quarter of 2024, the head of the Provincial Steering Committee requested that party committees, party organizations, and steering committee members continue to promote the roles and responsibilities of party committees, party organizations, agencies and units, especially leaders in leadership, their rights, rule understanding and strict implementation of documents and regulations of the party, state and provincial party committee on the prevention and combat of corruption, negative acts and collective bargaining, focus on reviewing and rapidly concretizing the party's policy and viewpoints and legal regulations on prevention preventing and combating corruption and negativity associated with promoting administrative reform and building strict and effective prevention mechanisms that direct the effective handling and prevention of petty corruption, harassment, negativity, causing trouble for people and businesses. The conference was attended by member of the Party Central Committee, Chairman of the Vietnam General Confederation of Labor, Nguyen Den Khang, Vice Chairman of the Central Emulation and Commendation Council, Head of the Central Emulation and Commendation Committee, Pham Huy Yang, Leaders of the Provincial Party Committee and People's Committee of the Provinces in the cluster, Representatives of typical events groups and individuals in 2023, 
intended to generate promises in the Southeast cluster have tried their best to emulate and strive to overcome difficulties and challenges. From emulation movements, the social economy situation intended to generate after promises in the cluster achieved many positive results. Economic growth rates the RDP mostly real quite well, reaching 7% on average. Total local budget revenue reached over 258,568 billion Vietnam dong. The export market recovered and real quite well. Export turnover reached 67 billion, 603.12 million US dollar. The RDP per capita increases compared to 2022. The fields of education, healthcare, science, and technology continue to develop and improve quality, meeting set school centers, and social security policies continue to be prioritized. National defense and security are maintained. Social order and safety are guaranteed. At the conference, the organizing committee commented collectives and individuals who are typical examples of the promises in the cluster with outstanding achievements contributing to the social economic development of the promises. The audience on the evening of March 30, the art program Tenen Song of Rice, organized by Nhân Dân newspaper in collaboration with Tenen Province, took place successfully at the square of Banan Mountain National Tourist Area. The program is high class, cultural and artistic space, and is celebrating the 49th anniversary of liberations of the South and reunifications of the country. The program attracts a large number of people. This is a special, majestic and meaningful political arts program. All content in the program is built and prepared from the end of 2023. With the team Tenen Song Upright, the program has reached the image of a heroic and indomitable Tenen throughout the nation's journey of fighting for independence and freedom up to now. For the first time, we decided to bring this program to the South and we also decided to choose Tenen because Tenen is one a place of great historical significance for the Central Department of the South, making a very important contribution to our war many decades ago. Seeing people eagerly coming to watch and everyone being very excited about this program, we think that Young Young newspaper has done a very important job in bringing the voice of the party and state to the people of the South and Tenen. In particular, the program recounted the tragic but heroic history, difficulties and challenges as well as the resilience of Tenen in the new period. With dynamism, creativity and existing cultural depth, the party committee, government and people of Tenen have united to write a new page in the history of the heroic and resilient Southeast region today. The songs in the program express the belief in the victory of the resistance world to protect the fatherland and this is also a program to celebrate the 49th anniversary of complete liberation of the South unifying the country. Through the program, generations of people as well as the young generation reveal the nation's glorious traditions and thereby continue to study and build an increasingly stronger country. I really like and am extremely impressed with the modern music songs of singers like rapper Rich. I also follow them and I really like them. It's a surprise when he composed a song about Tenen and I hope many people will accept it. In particular, throughout the program, mapping rotation technology is used to recreate historical moments at the foot of the majestic Baden Motion. Famous destinations in Tenen such as Baden Motion and Tenen Holisley are vividly shown. Closing the program, people, people were delighted with a unique high altitude fireworks display with the team in an aspiration to represent the image of a dynamic, creative and increasingly developing tenant. Ladies and gentlemen, the current weather in the province is extremely hot and prolonged, thus easily leading to the risk of fire, to limit fires and damage caused by fire, along with proactive prevention plans of the Fire Prevention, Fighting and Rescue Police for agencies, business and people need to raise the periods of vigilance and fire prevention to protect the life and properties of families and community. 
According to forecasts, in the coming time, the severe heat will prolong the risk of fires, especially the risk of forest fires in the province, is at level 3, an extremely dangerous level. The provincial police department of fire prevention, fighting and rescue has increased propaganda on fire prevention measures to raise people's awareness of prevention, repair means and forces to fight fires to minimize damage caused by fire. According to statistics from the beginning of March until now, there have been 10 fires in the province, including five residential house fires, two rough and test fires, one grass fire, and two forest fires, causing property damage of nearly 100 million Vietnam Dung and two hundreds of forests. The main causes of the fires were concerns about electrical short circuits, burning grass causing fire spread, carelessness in using fire sources. For example, two forest fires occur on March 20 on the slope of Furnace Mountain and Block 2 of Baden Mountain Cultural and Historical Forest. The cause is because people use fire to catch bees. The two fires did not cause damage to people or property, but caused fires and burnt people's projects. For natural forest blocks, the main burning materials are bitter vines and tons. They are no trees, so they do not cause damage to forest resources. Learning from the recent fire to protect the forest, the management board of Baden Mountain National Tourist Area has proposed many solutions to prevent and fight forest fires in the coming time. To cover the entire mountain area, we have shown which areas are key areas that we will strengthen, deploy a force to be on duty around that area during the peak period from 10 to 14, and at the same time strengthen propaganda work to mobilize forests at households, contact households and get them to clear away dry leaves to react a runway to prevent the risk of a fire from spreading or causing a large fire to occur. In addition, people's fire prevention awareness will greatly contribute to effective forest protection, preventing fires from causing forest damage. We advise people that when using open fires as well as burning grass, they must also pay attention and be proactive in prevention and in using electricity. When leaving the house, we must unblock on blocks and electrical appliances. When cooking, when using gas, we must turn off the gas. As for forest owners as well as households that have interest in the forest, they must pay attention to restricting strangers from entering the the area under their management and propaganda surrounding households to limit the use of fire and head sources when entering in the forest, prevent and minimize fires and damage caused by the fires. And people need to raise awareness of fire prevention and follow the recommendations of the Fire Prevention, Fighting and Rescue Police Force. If a fire occurs, find the first way to report the fire to everyone around. Call the Fire Police, the program for or the Civil Defense Team, the nearest commune or World Police. And at the same time, you must do extinguish fires and escape. In recent years, the situation of political security, social order and safety, and social security under stable still contains many complex factors, with hostile forces taking advantage of low educational level of the people. Ethnic minorities covertly work to carry out the peaceful evolution plot, causing riots and subversion to disrupt the stability of political security, social order and safety in the area. During the year, the checkpoints coordinated with other forces to organize 257 patrols, 517 units participated, thereby promptly detecting and effectively handling cases of violation of border regulations. From determining the task well, coordinating with the border guard points to strictly carry out coordination work according to degree number three of the government, protect social order and security at the restaurant protect and prevent forest fires, regularly coordinate with the border guard to patrol and protect landmarks and markers on the border, thereby detecting, preventing and resolving promptly and effectively many cases of cross-border smuggling, violation of border regulations, protection of state and people property, and preservation of social security and order in the area. 
One of the important tasks of the military and self-defense force is to maintain security and order in the area. The military standing military force regularly coordinates with the police force to organize patrols and guard and protect the area, separate the skills, arrest and drum prevention. With its achievements, the military by the military has been recognized by all levels for successfully completing its tasks for many years, and many individuals have been commended and rewarded in emulation movements as well as in performing tasks of local military and defense. That's all for today, TTV News. Thank you for being with us, and goodbye for now.